Hey everyone, Dylan with the HD Perspective here. Uh, the Maco Tools guy was around today at the shop, dropped off two flyers, I guess for the long weekend he said, I don't know. Anyways, we'll take a look here. Uh, just on the front, looks like they've got a three-quarter drive electric impact. Looks like it's got quite a bit of power too. 1,500 foot-pounds? I mean, if it's true, that's got to be pretty impressive. I didn't really get a chance to look at one to see how big it was or heavy. Personally, for a three-quarter, I think I'd still go with the air, but hard to say. I don't know. They're getting better and better with these electric tools, and I'm getting more and more converted. I'm kind of old school. I still like my air tools. I'm used to them. It's what I've always used, so old, old habits die hard, I guess. And they got their 4S um, toolbox. I guess it's got a power drawer. No price, but I don't know. Um, I've heard both good and bad about Matco boxes. Some guys don't like how the drawers don't really have like the locking feature like on a snap-on. Like the toolbox itself locks, but you know you have to lock the drawers in order to roll it anywhere, otherwise the drawers start sliding out. It's just kind of a friction detent or whatever on the slides. So. And they've got these uh, drawer organization kits. Actually kind of an interesting idea. Help you keep organized. It looks like you get a little pegboard for your drawer or something like that. Different clips and pieces for $201. You know, it might be worth looking into because, you know, if you buy a whole pile of socket trays or whatever, it can get up there too. Doesn't look like a bad idea. I'd have to check that out. And they've got their, uh, I guess, selection of mini air ratchets. Oh, they've even got one with a wobble on the end of it. So three quarter, or sorry, three eighths drive and a quarter drive, and then you get the free little mini toolbox. So I don't know what you can keep in there, maybe your lunch or something, maybe a little uh, mini screwdriver set. Give it to your kid or something; they can play with it. Oh, they've got an air hammer here, three hundred forty-seven dollars with some ends. Don't look too bad. Uh, a couple coworkers have this air hammer and. I think they're pretty happy with it. We can get a free uh, can cooler. Wow, what a deal. This looks kind of funky. They've got these wrenches with a little bit of a different design to them, an offset box end. I'm not sure how useful it would be or not. I guess the guy would have to try them out. And I'm not really sure I want to spend $390 to do that. Especially when I've already got my flank drive plus is which I'm quite happy with but hey if you got experience with these wrenches let us know in the comments if they're any good that'd be good uh, they got a little folding work light here $81 get some uh, coasters with it I guess they have got a streamlight lantern I'm a, I'm a big fan of streamlight but yeah take it camping or whatever uh, Three-piece fan clutch set, $138. Yeah, it might be handy. I guess it's good for Ford, GM, and Chrysler for most diesel pickups. It comes with the air hammer, uh, or you can use it with an air hammer, I should say. Stubby wrenches, $175. Combination wrench set, uh, looks like, yeah, they're all standard wrenches. I don't know, uh, for stubby wrenches I just kind of get the cheapest wrenches you can find because it's not something you really use a whole lot of, but when you need them, you need them, so it's nice to have. Uh, they've got a little roll cart here for $153. Um, oh, they've got the uh, five-piece blow gun kit. I have that kit and I actually like it quite a lot. It's kind of pricey. But it's nice for doing air systems, anything with that. If you know, troubleshooting, trying to isolate things, you can just quickly blow through a line and see if it's blocked or whatever. Kind of a handy little kit. 
Uh, they got the plier wrench here, just a five incher, so pretty small, I guess. I do like the plier wrenches from Nipex. I guess these are Mackle branded Nipex pliers. They they're very useful if you're doing any kind of airlines or hydraulics or anything like that. Uh, start a rivet gun sit set. Uh, they've got a power steering pulley set here, and then these um, Nipex cobalt bolt cutters. Actually, for their size, they cut pretty good. Uh, they've got their smaller uh, impact set, impact driver, and let's see here, quarter drive impact. Uh, they got these quarter inch drive twist socket sets. I don't know, I, like, I've never really had a use for those style of bolt extractors or whatever you want to call them. Usually if I can't get the bolt out, it's because the head snapped off, so then these kind of become useless. So you need to get something else, easy out or whatever, drill it out type thing, so... I still have yet to find a really good easy out or bold extractor set that I really like. Uh, here they've got the quarter inch electric torque wrench, $471, 1 to 20 foot pounds. Kind of a steep price if you ask me for just a quarter inch. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Now they've got the intermediate uh, impact socket set here for $52. Quarter up to, looks like 9 sixteenths. Well, and they even got 11 30 seconds and 9 30 seconds in there. Okay, not too common sizes, but if you need some SAE stuff, maybe in aviation it'd be good, but I don't know why you'd be using impact for aviation, probably not. Uh, they've got a Wi-Fi video scope. Uh, you can sync it with your phone and see the screen on your phone, I guess. Uh, battery tester, $82. It's okay, not a bad deal, I guess. And they've got the digital one for $220. Uh, a little jump starter here, I guess. 420 bucks. Uh, Heavy Duty Code Reader Plus. Uh, it doesn't really look like it has a whole lot of features. I guess you can, you know, view your live data, but it'd be nice if you could, you know, do some of the tests for for working on your DEF system, doing a regen or whatever, if you could force it to regen. I'm not sure if this will do it or not. But for 465 bucks, I'm not really willing to try out. Like, if it was 200 maybe I'd consider it. But, like, at the shop, we've got the OEM uh, software on our laptop, so. And it works probably the best. Not that I've seen a lot of aftermarket ones anyways. Infrared thermometer, you know, that's actually not a bad price, 63 bucks. I know before, like, when I bought mine, I think probably eight or nine years ago it was uh, well over four hundred dollars so they've come down in, in price quite a bit and then they've got the dual temp one so I guess it's got a test lead with it or er, so you can yeah, use your lead to get the temp to two hundred six dollars I'm not sure how useful that end of it would be if it's really worth the extra 140 bucks or so uh, automatic transmission oil pressure tester and a compression tester set. I guess more for automotive stuff. Um, well, you can build yourself a kind of a gauge set too. That'll work, but I guess this kind of has the, the main fittings that you'd need. Uh, fuel pressure test set here. Always handy to have, for sure. And then they've got all the kind of add-on fittings and hoses. I guess it depends what kind of work you're doing. Well, they've got a bunch of fancy spotlights and trouble lights, flashlights, all that kind of stuff. Let you take a look there. 
Oh, you can win a toolbox. So, I'm not sure exactly what you got to do. Submit a credit application. There you go. Hmm. Might be worth it. <laughs> a few good prizes. Who knows? Got a little bit of a rechargeable work light. 70 bucks. Personally, I like the Streamlight, but yeah, another option, I guess. Uh, they've got their die grinders, uh, 90 in a straight, one horsepower on the straight. Oh, and the 90s one horsepower as well. Wow, cool. Okay price, especially, I guess if you compare it to the Snap-on, one horsepower is probably, probably decent enough. Uh, tire inflator, $95, yeah. No thanks. <laughs> uh, leak detector. I've heard that they're very useful. I've never personally used one. You know, I'd like to have like the shop buy something like that first <laughs> before I I jump in and get it. Uh, fuse saver here. So I guess just some resettable fuses if you're doing some electronic work there. Relay buddy, you know, there's always different another way of testing a relay. I mean you can use your multimeter power probe Whatever, but I guess it makes it easy. So It's a time saver maybe I guess and Another few saver master kit and looks like a fluke digital multimeter um, I've never personally had a fluke multimeter, but from what I hear they're pretty nice uh, you've got all your different um, filter sockets, I guess, for different makes and models. If you're just working on one line of vehicles, maybe it might be worth it, but I don't know. If you kind of work on a little bit of everything, then maybe not. And I guess it depends on how much time you spend spinning filters. A serpentine belt tool could be useful. Red adapter set, um, vacuum fillers. Actually, that's kind of a must have nowadays, I think. This save you so much hassle trying to get air out of the system. And plus you can kind of test it for leaks before you, before you fill it with coolant. Fan holder for Duramax. I guess if you work on a lot of those, there you go. I don't know. I wouldn't really call it Duramax heavy duty, but it's more automotive. Kind of my view on it anyways. Well, and the Matco swag. Here you go. You can buy some Oakley sunglasses. And a couple generators. Yeah. A winch. And I guess they're purveying their fancy quarter drive 82 blocking flex chrome ratchet. Cool, 122 bucks. Oh, sorry guys, this is gonna be a long one. 3 8 drive impact sockets, $259. Looks like a fairly decent set. And then you got your half inch drive stubby impact sockets metric. Cool. Nice. Harmonic balancer pulley kit. Got a few different uh, varieties, I guess, for different vehicles. And yeah, some horseshoe wrenches. Not really sure. I guess that's more just a gimmick. <laughs> Wouldn't really want those. And they've got thousand bucks off on the 6s and the revel is 1500 bucks off uh, got some coolers other knickknacks uh, 3 8 by 50 foot hose reel they've got these weird looking pliers I'm not sure how much of a grip you're gonna be able to get on stuff but I guess the long reach would be nice for some things 
Can't really see them working that well though. Uh, they've got their cordless tools here, quarter drive impact wrench, screw gun, light, drill, and a ratchet. 12 volts. Actually, the battery prices don't look too bad. Pretty comparable to, to Milwaukee. I'm not sure actually what their warranty is on my cool, um, cordless tools. I'm kind of sold on the idea of Milwaukee just because of the warranty and you know they're fairly decent so um deep well bolt extractor yeah once again not really sure serpentine belt tool looks fancy might work i don't know lug ripper 2 easily drill out step stripped or broken lug nuts in minutes okay I'd like to see it to believe it. Uh, truck anchor pin bushing remover and installer. Not seeing too many. I mean, well, they're definitely still out there. Trucks with drum brakes where you got to push these bushings out. Uh, it's definitely a useful tool. I could see it breaking a lot, but depending on where you live and how much rust you got on the vehicles you're working on. But. Usually you gotta heat it up red hot with the torch and then you can hit it with something like that. Ball joint service tool. There you go, $359. Uh, the socket tray rack, $37. And wheel lock removal kit. I guess if you lose your special socket, then maybe that's what you need. Or if the owner of the vehicle doesn't have it. Wheel stud installers for a truck. Huh. That would actually be pretty handy. Although, I don't really install a whole lot of wheel studs. Usually it's because you screwed up that you're installing them. Smack one with the hammer by accident or something like that. So Try and avoid that as much as possible. Heavy duty pry bars, and they got the striking cap, 58, 48, 48 inch. I'm always a fan of the uh, long pry bars, make life easier. Uh, the long ones got the straight tip, though I prefer an angle tip, to be honest. And, you know, decent enough price, I suppose. Uh, T handle hex set. And then they've got these long reach uh, needle nose pliers, $103, buy one get one. Uh, thin wrenches, could be very handy, $147, definitely, definitely useful for sure. But not something you're going to be using every day, so if you can find a cheaper set I'd definitely do that. Uh, the indexable pry bar. They can be useful for sure. Uh, Gear wrench has the one with the handle that extends out. I would probably opt for that. It's around the same price, so it's a little more versatile in what you can do. Uh, the Mighty Vac 1.2 gallon automatic transmission fuel fluid refill system. Yeah, could be uh, useful. Four hundred thirty-three dollars might be cheaper if you just go direct to Mighty Vac. Maybe check out Amazon or whatever. Uh, glow plug harness remover installer for Ford. Not really familiar with that, so 23 bucks if you do work on a lot of Fords, maybe could be useful and you know the price isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, body tools always good to have for sure if you're doing any kind of dash work or in interior work. $131 for a three piece set. A polishing kit from Makita, one horsepower angle grinder. You know, actually, I'm a fan of the air angle grinders for sure. I always use mine quite a bit. Like, if I can get in there, that's what I'm going to use to with a cutoff wheel or whatever. I like it as opposed to the electric grinders. You know, it's a lot smoother, less vibration. It's not as hard on the hands if you're going to be spending any amount of time doing grinding. Definitely not as powerful as an electric grinder, but... Pros and cons. 
Uh, Air Riveter, those are nice for sure. And then the pinstripe removal tool, the little rubber pads or whatever, eraser pads, they actually work fairly well. I'm not familiar with this specific set, but used something similar before and they actually work fairly good. You know, well, maybe they're trying to uh, appeal to the YouTuber or something. 360 degree HD camera. A little scan tool here, 579. Compression tester. And a headlamp. Relay bypass loops. I guess if you're, you got an amp clamp. Could be useful, for sure. A uh, straight wire tool. So I guess cuts or crimp strips, cuts and crips wire 12 to 20 auto wire gauge. There you go. Back probe pins. Definitely need some of those. Spade terminal probe adapter set. Yeah. I mean, maybe you can find a cheaper set, but something that's definitely useful for the toolbox. Uh, these test leads here, I like those quite a bit. Especially if you're doing trailer lights or anything like that. Makes life easier for sure. A uh, little test light. Don't waste your time. Just get the power probe right next door. But not from him because it's too expensive. Get it from somebody else. Even Snap-on I think is cheaper. And more swag. Oh yeah. Nice. Sweet. Just what I wanted. And a little boost pack. It's kind of funny, the Macco guy, he came out with, the, I don't know, the previous version of this one day, and he's like, yeah, it's the greatest boost pack, anything, it'll boost anything, and we got, we at the time, we had a really old forklift that uh, always needed boosting, and we're like, well, if it'll boost that forklift, I'll buy one right now, and it was a cold day, probably minus 30 or something, and uh, yeah, it didn't even crank over a little bit, didn't even click the solenoid on the starter, so <laughs> he went away. Kind of in shame, but whatever. <laughs> it was funny. Well, and then the Mac later she was by here yesterday, so just the little one pager mid month flyer. A few little things. Air ninety degree air drill. Spot welding kit. Air riveter. Oh, it must be the month for air riveters. Yeah, and they've got their cordless impact, which is basically I'm pretty sure it's the same as the DeWalt one, so if you're looking at that just Go look at the DeWalt, but actually go look at Milwaukee if that's what you're in for, if you're looking at getting a cordless impact. Uh, half inch drive composite air ratchet. I don't know. These days I would just get a cordless. Forget that. Um, I do have that 90 degree air impact. I do find it useful from time to time. I've done a full review. I'll leave a link in the description to that. It's on sale a little bit, 24 bucks off. Tailpipe cutter, some back probes, uh, air tire buffer. If you do a lot of tires, I guess, sure. It's actually not a bad price. A little cutoff tool, $131. Actually not a bad deal either. A little multi-engine funnel set, eh, save making a mess I guess, and a knife, 42 bucks. Well, I know it was a long one, but hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, leave any comments down below with any uh, tips or things that you've liked about the flyers, and uh, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching again, I really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you in the next video.